Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, blue liquor shields, Dutch lights, Irish peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the television show, The View. Now, normally I try to be a little more reserved and sober and restrained, but I have to come out and actually say I fucking hate the show, The View. Fortunately, I haven't really had to watch it too much. I, I actually watch clips of other YouTubers making fun of The View, which is a, a lot of fun, but to watch that show is utterly astonishing. Um, what a bunch of shrews, what a bunch of harpies. Um, it's just unbelievable. Um, they're so divisive. They're so uneducated. They're so uninformed. They're so contradictory. They're so hypocritical. They're so emotional. They're so irrational. It's just one of the most disgusting displays I've ever seen. And that's why I think it's possibly the worst television show in American history. And uh, I don't really watch TV that much in general, so I, I may not be a good judge. I'm sure there's plenty of other crap out there. Um, the View is right up there with the Jerry Springer show and the Morton Downey show and um, that elk. I can't believe anybody would actually take it seriously for any kind of political or economic commentary. Um, the last time I was actually in avid TV watcher was back in the 60s when shows like Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Time Tunnel, the original Star Trek, Gilligan's Island, Bewitched, and I Dream a Genie were on. Um, since then, I haven't really watched much TV, but uh, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into some of these details because it was a little interesting to, to find out that uh, some of the statistics about this show, they have 2.375 million viewers, which... Uh, is utterly astonishing. Um, they've won 31 Emmys and uh, have been on for 17 seasons. The New York Times even said at one point that 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 it was quote the most important political TV show in America. Oh my God! Oh unquote. Um, so New York Times certainly doesn't have any credibility, but it, but it's also interesting to find out that it's one of the um, um, it broke all-time record in 2024 for lowest TV ratings in the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. slot. So that's encouraging. And, of course, as you would imagine, the viewership is is uh, almost 99 to 100% women. Uh, let's see, 100, 200,000 women between the ages of 25 and 45. And I'm, not, I'm not sure why they outline it this way. And then 282,000 women in the 18 to 49 group, no men. And um, I know I'm, I'm going to say something that's going to risk me being labeled a sexist, but it's really a sad commentary on women in America, and particularly liberal women in America, that they watch this trash in the morning, and unfortunately their heads are being filled with garbage. And uh, I, I, I think there should be laws that people that watch The View shouldn't even be allowed to vote. But... Uh, Anyway, um, let's go down the lineup of the the, uh, the harpies and shrews. We got Joy Behar, who is a comedian, but is decidedly unfunny on the show, if she's even funny in comedy. I don't think I've ever seen her in anything. So, uh, Ann Navarro, a TV personality, whatever that means. Sonny Hostin, uh, a lawyer, but you'd never know it from the crap she spews on this television show. Whoopi Goldberg, of course, everybody knows she's an entertainer, so of course, she's loaded with deep political insights. And uh, Sarah Haynes, uh, TV host, so she's perfectly qualified to talk about the topics of the day. And then Alyssa Griffin, political strategist, how about that? They actually have somebody on there that's actually familiar with politics. Uh, stunning, but uh, collectively, uh, the IQ rate is probably about 12 or 13. And uh, Joy Behar, in October 2017, uh, put out a book, and this is uh, pretty telling. It sounds like a children's book, but it's actually apparently for adults. It's called, quote, The Great Gas Bag, an A to Z Study Guide to Surviving Trump World, unquote. Um, I'm sure it sold quite a few copies initially to the same idiots this, that watch this show, but uh, I'm sure it's in most dumpsters. Uh, at this point, which, which is uh, where it belongs, along with the TV show The View. And uh, the, 
it's amazing that these people get paid the kind of uh, money they get paid. Uh, Joy Behar makes seven million dollars uh, uh, on the show. Whoopi Goldberg gets eight million dollars for the show, and surprisingly, Sonny Hostin gets one point six million dollars for the show. So clearly, they're way overpaid. In fact, they should pay to be able to go on there and spew the nonsense that they do. And uh, I don't know how much else. I can say about the show, it's just so horrifying and so horrible. Um, just even watching a, a couple minutes of clips on YouTube videos of people making fun of them is amusing, but uh, it, it's excruciating to hear the nonsense they say. Like I say, they're, they're so contradictory. Uh, they contradict each other, uh, each other within the show each day, and then they contradict each other from day to day. And, the, and there's there's no continuity or logic to it, and their behavior is so childish. But uh, uh, I, I think I've said it all. It's the worst television show in American history. It spews nothing but garbage, and is and, and it would all be amusing and hilarious if it wasn't so tragic and dangerous. The fact that uh, and I I know people that watch this show. Sad 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 to say. And uh, they love it. They, they think that stuff is great. And um, it's only, you know, they spent the last eight years with uh, Trump derangement syndrome on steroids. And um, it's just unbelievable. And uh, the commentary it makes on uh, American women is horrifying. The commentary it makes on the American population is horrifying. The commentary it makes on the television stations that are willing to air such shit is horrifying and the effects that it has on the political fabric of America is horrifying. The sooner that show dies and gets buried, uh, and it has to be buried deep because the stench is so excruciating that you'd have to, you'd have to bury that show about a hundred feet underground and then cover it with lime. So, uh, boy, is there anything else I want to say about The View? I, I guess not. I guess if I get even more disgusted, I'll make a, another video about The View that just says 20 times in a row, The View is total shit. The View is total shit. The View is total shit, etc. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.